Hello everyone. So today we are going to do lead code by weekly's third question, shifting letters to. So basically in this question, what we are given is you are given a string S of lower case English letters and 2D integer array shift where shift of i equals to start i, end i, and direction i for every i shift the character S from index start i to the index end i inclusive forward if direction i equals to one or shift the characters backward if direction i equals to zero. So shifting a character forward means replacing it with the next letter in alphabet wrapping around so that z becomes a. So here comes the part and okay. Uh, similarly, shifting a character backward means replacing it with previous letter in the alphabet wrapping around so that a becomes z. Return the final string after all such shifts to S are applied. So let me first explain you with this example. So here S equals to ABC. So the shifts are as you have, uh, see that start, end and direction and these basically for every I shift the character S from the index start I, right? So start I is 0 to the index end I till the 1 means 0 and then 1 inclusive means both of them would be in the direction 1 and 1 simply uh, direction equals to i, uh, if direction equals to 1, then we are required to shift in the forward direction and backward 0. So here we are required to shift in the backward, right? So A and B we are required to do. So as they say, that first shift the characters from index 0 to 1 backward. So that means that this A will become Z, B will become A. And that is the thing. And then next we are given as 1 and 2 we are required to shift and the shifting direction is forward. So one and two, what we are having now, means in this new one, we are having B and uh, one and two, right? B and D, so basically A would be to B and C would be to B, right? So now new, which is there, according to this, zero to two, which are there, right? Zero, one, uh, zero, one, two. Means all three need to be shifted in forward direction. So Z to A, B to C, and D to E. So here, this all scenario gives us that this is uh, the question. So this is somehow the question which is similar to range some query question. In this we were basically, uh, and here the queries is being done by using the text of plus one and minus one and shifting all of them. So uh, let me directly head, uh, head over you to the uh, code of this particular question that how we are required to do it. So here basically, at first, we are taking this vector of uh, int IDs where we would be directly storing all the IDs which would be there uh, and then we will running for this particular first for loop and in this here we are directly going ahead with the uh, because there are three things given to us start end and uh, that start and then end and the direction so those we will be storing in this and then we will be getting uh, we are making here that if the direction is basically equal equals to 1, then what we are required to do there. And if it is equal equals to 0, then what we are required to do there. So that is what we are doing in this particular uh, question. And now comes the next part. Uh, for uh, for int i equals to 1, uh, means all the things which we were storing in this particular id, means the way we are required to do this question according to directions and so on. That all we are doing in this particular part. And then next comes the part that now we are running this particular loop till here. And in this, uh, we are going to do our further operations. So in this particular, we are first taking uh, for the uh, whatsoever is stored at that particular ID. And then we are uh, doing modulo with 26 so that it remains in the range of A to Z. So that's the thing we are doing because the manner is cyclic that either we would be going to, uh, so uh, from A to Z or from Z, uh, from our Z to A. So that's why it, uh, we are doing this particular step. And then we are checking that if ID I is greater than zero, then we are performing this particular thing that while ID of I is greater than zero, then we are required to check that if S of I equal equals to Z, right? ID of I greater than zero means it is positive in manner here, right? So then we are required to do that S of I equal equal to Z, then S of I becomes equals to A, and then we will be doing id of i minus minus else what we are required to do s of i plus plus and then id of i minus minus. Uh, 
so basically uh, that's the scenario of which we are going here the way we are required to do in our range sum right so similar to that is after the contest i uh, give you one uh, link for the same here where we are required to do this question and then and if the particular position at that point if it is less than 0 and at that particular scenario we will be moving ahead that Uh, this is that particular scenario when we were uh, going for um, when it becomes a right so if it is a uh, uh, one was one that was a poverty up so here it would be a zero so that's why we are moving towards the backward direction right so that's why we are uh, doing this and making it that particular as s of i equals to z right if the thing would be that we will be decrementing and incrementing our id so this was all for this particular question and uh, this was all so yeah thank you